How's it going guys? Uh, today I've got a quick little video here for you. It's going to be on my Moto G US variant and I'm going to show you how to install an Xperia Z ROM which is really cool. It's based off of the Xperia Z Sony device um, and they made a ROM so your device looks like an Xperia Z. So that's just pretty sweet. Never actually installed anything like that so I'm uh, kind of excited to do this. Uh, I'm sorry it's been so while since I've done a video. Uh, it's been a little bit. I've been working on my Android application. I'll give you guys a link to that if you guys want to check it out. But let's go ahead and get into this install. So this is actually just a custom ROM running right now that's very much based on um, CM11. So it is a cool ROM, but we're going to install over the top of it. So first thing, um, you guys obviously you're going to need to have the all the files downloaded you're going to need. Um, see if I have a file browser in here. I can actually even show you these or not. Here's a file browser. Yeah, I do have one. So go to downloads, and then you're going to need the Xperia ZG full zip ROM zip, um, Super Su zip, and the Sony official edition ZG1-5 zip. Those are the three zips you're going to need, and you're going to need to have an unlocked device with a custom recovery already installed. If you don't have these prerequisites, not a big deal. You can watch my YouTube playlist on this device and it'll walk you through everything you need to do. Unlocking your bootloader, installing custom recovery, all that kind of good stuff. Alright, so we've gone through that. I'm actually going to use Goo Manager just to reboot me into recovery. Just because it's just a nice, easy way to do this. And this is going to get me into recovery. I should have, I'm pretty sure it's Twerp Recovery or Team One Recovery Project on this device right now. I'm um, not really sure though. Let's find out. Yeah, there it is. Alright, so first thing you always want to do before you install anything on your device, in case you have a bad download or for whatever reason, it's always good to do a backup first. So you come in here, check them all, swipe across, and do your Android backup. Now I have an Android backup here that is good enough for me, so I'm not really worried about running a new one right now. But if you're flashing something new, it's always a good idea to do it. Alright, so that being said, we're actually going to come in here and we're just going to do a wipe data factor reset device is spinning on me and hit back very easy to do not a big deal then you're gonna go to installs and I'm actually already in my download file so we're gonna select the zip which is the ROM we're gonna add one we're gonna select the Sony official edition stuff add another one and select super sue alright so we've got all three so it says three of ten files and then just swipe across and it's going to install this ROM so like I said, very, very cool Xperia ZG, and, it, and the G is there just for Google, or I should say Moto G, not for Google. Um, that's why it's got a G, otherwise it's just an Xperia Z ROM. Um, so the ROM's going to install. This shouldn't take too long. These files are not very big. I mean, you're looking at total altogether, it's like half a gig, so it's not a very big file. So I'm going to let this thing run. As soon as it's done, we'll go through the boot animation, show you guys this ROM, and check it out. I'm a little excited about it. So let's see what we get. Your screen may turn off in the middle of this. It just means that you're in, like, screensaver for twerp. So you can just unlock it, you know, hit the power button, unlock it, and it'll pop back up. And the install is actually almost done here. There you go. It's done. Very, very simple, as you can see. Not a big deal. So we're just going to go ahead and hit Reboot System. And we should boot up into this ROM. I'm a little curious to see what the boot animation looks like on this. If it's just like the Nexus one, a Google one, something for Sony Xperia Z. I don't know. Like I said, I've not had any same, uh, Sony devices. So it is the Xperia uh, Z. Whoa, whoa, okay. <laughs> so <laughs> that's a twist. I was not expecting that. So you have the Xperia Z little animation plus the Google like stock boot animation it's kind of like a little bit of both so it's interesting um, so give your dice um, I don't know shoot about four or five minutes to boot up if it doesn't obviously you want to get back into recovery and restore your Android backup because obviously there's an issue but uh, give it some time first boot up does take a little bit alright there it is uh, the screen did dim a little bit and you got it to the uh, setup stuff so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit this um, it says insert the SIM, I'm put skip because I don't actually have a SIM card in here. I'm actually going to skip my Wi-Fi connection right now. Um, skip anyway, not a big deal. Turn on the Google stuff, um, set my time zone here. 
You can hear the kind of clicking in the, in the background, uh, which is a little interesting every time you touch the screen. All right, so you have two things. You have a Simple Home and Xperia Home. So we're going to do Xperia Home. We're going to say always. I'm pretty sure Simple Home is another Sony homepage uh, application or home launcher, but it's really probably real basic. So this is probably the one I'm going to want to do. Um, actually, you know, let's, let's actually check out Simple first. Say just once, and then we'll check out the, the standard one. So this is this is the Simple Home. Like I said, really basic, broke down. Looks like an old school interface for a phone like if you're used to a flip phone or something yeah kind of lame so we're gonna hit home again this time we're gonna select the, this one and do it permanently there you go that's the standard what every Android user is used to um, very cool I, I, I'm really digging it actually I, I really like the look of this thing um, very very nice very nice looking for me this is kind of almost a little bit of a breath of fresh air in some ways just because I'm so used to Samsung, Motorola, LG, all the other interfaces, HTC, I just never had Sony. Um, so it's kind of neat for it. Um, you can see your, your buttons on here, your, your back, your home, your uh, recent applications, which is actually that other launcher. Um, the ticking I may have to turn off, but uh, here's your notifications and it says edit. And you have some nice little toggles in here. It's pretty standard stuff, settings, brightnesses, airplane mode, Bluetooth, location, um, pretty standard looking stuff right there. Let's check out some of your other pages. So just some standard things here, home screen stuff. Um, time, it's very basic looking. Little uh, media player for MP3s, looks like some photo display for showing off your photos. Little widget. Play, Walkman, album, movies, and Sony Select. Um, sure, why not? I'll agree to it. Oh, there's no network, so it's not going to let me allow you to use that just because I haven't set it up. Here is your app drawer. Ooh. Ooh. Is that... That's... i got to do that again. Why did... What did it do there? Is that something... Ooh, man. That's... See, that's different. I've not seen that kind of an app drawer feature on the side. That's cool. I, I like it. It's just... Like I said, this is totally different for me, so I'm just not used to this look of um, a device here. That's crazy. Okay, so there it goes. All right, so let's go ahead and just check through this thing really quick and see what we have. We do have Walkman, um, and I'm trying to see here. It says visuals crash, so there's an issue with the Walkman application working correctly according to the XD post where I got this from. Social Life News, Settings, Album, Smart Connect, Gmail, Camera. Let's just double check to make sure camera does function correctly. And it looks like it does. Yeah, yep, it does. So, camera does work in the application. That's always a good sign. Um, let's see what else we have. Motion shot, power toggles, motion graphic for Xperia. There's there's a bunch in here. There's Super Sue right there, so you should have root, applica uh, root access right here. Yep, what you do. So you got root, there's messaging, Xperia lounge, notes, sketch. Trickster Mods looks like it was added into this application. I know that's not standard, um, which is really cool. Trickster Mods does a lot. I actually want to do a full review on this thing. I have not yet done it. Um, but there is a ton you can do in Trickster Mods um, about adjusting your CPU and all that kind of stuff. You can see it does have Exposed Install if you want to install that and use any of the Exposed Framework utilities and stuff. So that's very, very sweet. Um, and then obviously you got all these settings in here. So installs most used. Play, Sony Select, uninstall search apps. Uh, yeah, the, the site interface there is very, very nice. Um, let's go ahead really quick and just check through the settings. Again, like I said, it's almost like a breath of fresh air. So you have your home right here. You can pick those two homes again if you ever want to right there and change to the simple mode. Um, standard here. This all looks pretty standard. Just different icons. Um, looks all, yeah, pretty good. Here you can go in here and check out About Phone, Android 4.4.2, this is KitKat, there you go, a little Easter egg hidden right there, it's kind of cool, tapping the Android version. Um, we'll turn on Developer Options right there, and now you have Developer Options, which should be on USB debugging, I like to always check this. Um, very, very nice, very nice. So. Like I said, you do have KitKat, and I, I'm digging it. I actually, I want to use this now. It's actually kind of cool. Just for me, like I said, it's just a change. Just a change from what I'm used to seeing on Android. Just a different skin, 
Um, but uh, very, very nice. Definitely liking it. Uh, we'll definitely be playing with it. Check out the XDA post on this thing to see if you know everything's functioning for you. I know there's a couple little things with photo editor and the keyboard has a couple things you just need to you know quickly fix to get those things functioning 100%. Um, but not really a huge issue. Um, actually, let's just see just for the, just for the sake of it. I think I think the keyboard actually might work. This has been updated recently. Let's just go in here and just see if. If it does, yeah, yeah, it, it looks like it works. So not not a huge issue there either, I guess. I guess that's already been updated and fixed in the last uh, ROM update. So there you go. That's gonna be it. That's gonna be how to use uh, install the Xperia Z ROM on the Moto G uh, US variant. Hope you guys like this video. Definitely cool ROM. Definitely gonna be loving it. So check out anything more on this. Um, like I said, check out my app that I was telling you I've been working on. I'll give you a link to that. Everything will be linked in the video description down below. So we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie, out.